Do you have baby stompy pics? What an excellent question. Yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> I'm looking for cute baby stompy. All right, let me just look at my camera roll. All right, let's see. Here's baby stomp. He was the size of a watermelon, like a mini watermelon, one of the little ones. People pug, wow. Okay. Small barricade reset um, for five months. Here he is. Um, here's him on the scale when he was 2,000 grams. That scale, we still have it. It's like this big. So, this was Stompy on there. Baby chicken. wow. Same on you name resubbed for two months. Pee poo poo, wow. Here's Stompy in my lap as a baby chicken. Here's Stompy in my lap, still as a baby chicken, but older. <laughs> How much does he weigh now? Um, a little less than 100 pounds. People pug, wow. Here's Stompy when he moved out to the pasture for the first time. He was very small and he had black feathers. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> you guys get it. Stompy was a little baby. So, um, Will Stompy ever get a girlfriend? Uh, no, Stompy was only ever raised with people. Um, he's never been around other emus, and he's imprinted. So I have no idea how he would react to another emu, but um, we will not be getting another one. Um, you guys are gonna have to, are gonna have to be a little patient here because I don't want to put my months. socks on my really wet feet. This is gross. So just stand by for like a second. All right. Um, Mold, thank you for the nine months. Could he swim in a big pool? Well, you don't think this pool is big enough? I think it's pretty, pretty good actually. <laughs> One sock on. My foot is definitely wet. <laughs> it is what it is, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, we have a fall carnival coming up November 4th. It's a fundraising event um, for the sanctuary and we have a bunch of the animals participating um, in some really fun ways and some interactive ways for you guys. Uh, so one of those ways is you guys are going to be able to do ring toss um, versus Abbott, our crow, and he will be doing his rings IRL uh, with me and then you guys will be doing them virtually, probably with a heat map. Uh, like a click map on screen. There you go. It's like, why isn't that fitting? This is a fly mask that I'm putting on Winnie. It's mesh, so you can she she can see through it. Uh, it's just to keep flies out of her eyes, so they don't make them runny. That's what the point of the mask is. Did you just laugh? No. Damn it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got a made flip lap. <laughs> oh, good. Oh my God, look who it is. We didn't see him at all this morning. Hey, pal. That's my horse. Be cute. So, for the fall carnival, we will have um, an animal pick pick your bingo numbers, okay? It was gonna be Oppa, but it might end up being Oliver, we'll see. Um, Oppa is our Spiffies. marmoset, little monkey, one of them. A solar eclipse, oh, I have no idea, I don't think so. But I didn't know that. There's a solar eclipse, October 14th. Yeah, you didn't know that. No, of course you knew that, you're a photographer. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? There's a music festival out at the place that I shoot at. Mm -hmm. I might go there. Um, what's up? We're going to see the crows. So, for the fall carnival, there will be bingo. So you guys will play bingo, um, and the animals will pick the bingo numbers. We have a ring toss. So you guys will have to get the rings on posts virtually, and Abbott is going to do the rings in person. 
Um, I, I don't know why this is an idea, but I think we're gonna have a grain eating contest versus Winnie, where Winnie's eating grain and we're eating Cheerios. Sounds really awful. We might do apple bobbing with a cerro. Um, a roach race. Our cockroaches are gonna race and then we have a haunted rat maze. So our rats will do a maze as well. Hello. Hello. Guys, that is Siren. She's a blue fronted Amazon. Um, they're in here today because their enclosure is getting AC installed. And then Mia is to your right. She's a Congo African Grey. Siren, do you have anything that you'd like to say to them? Okay. <laughs> Birdie. <laughs> That's nice. Birdie. Um, so, we have two crows. I'll tell you about them before we go in there because they're very loud. Uh, Abbott and Coconut. They were both born in Central Texas, blown out of their nest by a storm, picked up by people, raised by wildlife rehabbers, unfortunately imprinted on those wildlife rehabbers. And so they're unable to take care of themselves in the wild. Um, imprinting is what happens to baby birds uh, when they identify with a species at a young age. So the reason that ducklings follow adult ducks or ducklings will follow you if you get them when you're really young, because they imprint. Um, it is an irreversible change uh, that happens in their brain. Imprinting is important because when they identify with the species, they learn what to eat, who to mate with, where to migrate to, how to find shelter, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, how to find food. Uh, and when they don't learn from those birds, they're unable to survive on their own um, most of the time. And so Abbott and Coconut are imprinted birds. Um, not able to survive by themselves. They did try to release Abbott, which they shouldn't have. They tried to release Abbott, um, and he was found in a park two days later, landing on people, screaming at them for food because he just hadn't eaten in like two days. And he saw people and he's like, oh my God, I need food. So that's why he's deemed non-releasable. Humans do not imprint. It's actually, it's strictly birds. Mammals are capable of habituating to people, uh, but imprinting is, is a different process and it only happens with birds. Hey buddy, Abbott uh, is going to participate in our fall carnival with a ring toss and get his rings, okay? You guys are gonna do a ring toss versus Abbott and we're gonna see who can do it faster. So Abbott is practicing for the fall carnival that's coming up on November 4th. Two. 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 Yeah, that's it. Good. <laughs> Good job. Two. Good. <laughs> Should we do three? Three. 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 Good. <laughs> you guys are going to lose. I don't know what to tell you. Good. <laughs> Get one. 
Two. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two. 